guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create a music video preview specifically for Instagram and why I say this is because when you upload a snippet or a video on Instagram and you want to upload more than one, if you were to upload like this video per se, only a square part of the video will show, not the entire video will show. You can obviously upload it separately but if you were to upload multiple snippets in one post, then you can't actually resize. And also, Instagram is known for square videos and square photos, and this tutorial actually requires you to make a square video. Along with this, I just recently worked on my first music video, and after talking to the artist, it became apparent that promoting your videos was very important before and after it was out. So snippets and previews is just one way to do this, and Instagram is a place you can promote that sort of stuff, so I thought it'd be suitable. One place you can see this is in Worldstar. They upload a lot of music videos for artists and stuff like that, and it kind of gave me the inspiration to make this video. So the first thing you wanna do to make it a square video is just import your video, your music video, go to sequence settings, and then make the frame size 1920 by 1920. So there I have it, and now it's a square. And now if I were to upload multiple videos, nothing would be cropped because it's already a square. So there I have it. Next thing I want to do is find two screenshots from the video that kind of suit the video, like, like ones that you can use. So this is one, for example, it kind of gives a view of everything. So you want to press Control Shift E to export the frame, or you would want to press this camera icon. You want to press import into project and make the format JPEG. And now you want to drag it and make it the full length of the video or the snippet or whatever you're using. I'm gonna drag the crop effect on there so you can see where to add it. And basically this photo is gonna cover one of the black spots right here. So one of the black bars. I'm just gonna crop from the bottom here. And then crop from the top. You actually can't really see. Uh, so let me just go to position and just lower it. And you can obviously not see the video. So I'll just crop the top too until I can see it. So right there. So there I have one part and now I'm gonna find another one that kind of suits it. So like this looks really cool. I'll export this as well. And one thing you'll notice is that it'll actually export both of the photos, which is you know kind of weird, but uh, you wanna just position this higher now, just to the top. And now you want to crop this so that you can actually see the video. It's not really a problem, it's just really confusing how they do this, but there and I just want to crop it at the top. And there you have it. This obviously wouldn't be like ideal. It kind of looks a bit weird, right? You have to add some sort of effect, right? I'm Steven Van, I add a lot of effects, you know. So one thing you can do is first of all, you can make it darker. So you can add like brightness and contrast, and you can just make them darker which I think is really clean. So if you go down here, you could just make the brightness lower on each. So like negative 100 on both. So let me just go down here. So like negative 100 so that there's more emphasis on the middle. You can do that or you can add some sort of blur or you can do both. So let me show you how to do below both. So I'm going to go to blur and there's a lot of blurs. So you can go to video effects and you can choose Directional blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to do directional because directional seems cool. Actually, I'm going to do Gaussian blur. So I'm going to delete this because I don't need that. I'm going to make the blurriness like that much. Not so much. I'm going to make it vertical. Actually, horizontal. Horizontal looks better. And by doing horizontal, none of the blur is going to leak onto the video because the video is under it, not beside it. So I'm going to make it like 50. And I'm going to add it to the there here as well. And I'm going to make this 50 as well. So now that you have those two things down, what you can add next is the title of the music video. So I'm going to go into title. And actually, Adobe just updated Premiere Pro, which I really don't like because there's no title under here anymore. So what you want to do is go into file, new, legacy title, and then you want to add your text now. So right here, let me just move this. I'm just gonna write the title of this video, which is Madness. That's what the music video is called. I'm gonna use Gotham Bold as my font. I'm gonna center it by pressing here. So something like that's good. So you can see if I were to add this title on top, there it is. And then now I can add the artist names, Glory Boy. 
in affiliation with D wavy. So I'll just make this 50 and I'll center this as well. And maybe make this a different color font. So maybe like yellow. And maybe just lower this a bit down. Actually lower this down because this isn't really centered at all. So now just extend this to the length of the video and if you play it, you can see this has some sort of preview. It looks really cool. And now what you wanna do is go to export media and then export the video and then just press export here and then it should export. And then I'll just show you a little example of how it would look like. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.